Welcome to Crumbs Run Gaming. Today we will play some Port Royale 4. We're gonna continue our campaign uh, since we finished the Spanish campaign last time. So let's continue with England. The New World in the year 1589. Only a year ago Queen Elizabeth I decided to prove experienced captains with the letter marked to hunt Spanish merchant vessels and treasure fleets in the Caribbean. As the newly appointed governor of Port-au-Prince, Port Port-au-Prince, Prince, maybe. Sorry for the for that pronunciation. You are su uh, supporting this venture, and you are helping to weaken Spain. Uh, first of all, your task is to expand your hometown so that you could build a fleet. Later on, you will hunt down Spanish convoys and even annex some towns. The objective of the campaign is to pave the way for England to become the largest naval power. In the Caribbean. So we're gonna choose our character and we have the pirates. Uh, will not be attacked by pirates. Start with the pirate bark. Only 50% loss of fame for piracy. All build buildings will be 20 more percent 20 percent more expensive. That sounds really good since we're gonna attack towns and stuff. Let's see what the other guys are. Uh, the adventurer, like, uh, and its experience of captains increases 25% faster, is able to order vessels which he has defeated in battle. Okay. 20% weaker in boarding fights. We will do a lot of boarding fights, I think. So, maybe not that one. The merchant does not require a trading license, is able to trade with all nations even at war. Combat vessels will cost twice as much fame points. Yeah, the Buccaneer, let us mark, 90% off, gain 5 fame points at the beginning, double loss of fame for piracy. I think I'll go with uh, the Partes, since, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go Summer Turner, that sounds good to me. And let's start. Henry the First, Duke of Guise, is murdered. Guys, Guise, Guise. Yeah, I don't know. Henry the Third uh, asks Henry of Guise to come to him unarmed and has him assassinated by his bodyguards as soon as he appears. Henry of Guise's brother is taken prisoner and executed the next day as well. The bodies are burned and the ashes scattered in the Loire. Loire. Yeah. Because of the pre uh, prestige that Henry of Guise enjoyed large parts of France subsequently opposed their king and Henry III is forced to join forces with Henry of Navarre. Great Britain, 1588. The news of the victory over the Spanish Armada in the English Channel spreads like wildfire. Britain is saved. God's blessings on Queen Elizabeth. The sheer immeasurable wealth that Spain has captured in South America and the Caribbean could not help against the British fleet and the weather in the English Channel. And better yet, this weakening of the arch enemy now finally gives Britain the opportunity to challenge the supremacy of the Spanish colonies in the West Indies. At the Queen's court, Courtiers and investors outbid each other with increasingly bold and lucrative proposals to conquer the oceans. And the Queen is interested. Power and markets are two words, but they mean the same thing. For a long time now, captains with robust earning power and British letters of marquee have been spreading fear and terror among Spanish traders in the Caribbean. They are said to threaten Spanish profit margins and thus their dominance. Greetings. So, you are the one who is to help me stop the Spanish domination. Hm. Well, I hope the Queen knows what she is doing. 
She has asked me to support you as best I can. However, there are some tasks you must perform which I shall also give you. In Europe, there has been war between the peace-loving motherland and the Spanish bastards for years. Here with us, it has been relatively quiet so far. That will not last for long. So it is best to familiarize yourself with the environment first. Port-au-Prince is your home port. A convoy has been prepared for you there. Visit the neighboring towns, trade, make yourself known. Take advantage of the calm while it lasts. Okay, Port-au-Prince is the pronunciation and letter of marquee. So I learned something new today. Uh, we let's see what we have. We should let's see what the mission is first. Our journal. So deliver 700 commodities from producing towns to other towns. Okay, that's should be pretty easy. You have traded with five different towns. Yeah, that should be pretty easy as well. Two active trade routes and sold thousand commodities. Okay, this first one should be pretty simple. Let's see what we have. Uh, no, no, it's not this one. Okay, we have three uh, ships, Black Pearl. Uh, let's remove that, and we have the Black Pearl and the Captain, Joe Moore. And then we add a new convoy called Mowgli. And then we need to set up two trading routes. So let's start with that. And the first one. I think we're gonna go uh, to the west, so Port of France, Port Royal. Uh, let's head to Trinidad. Yeah, I think I would go with that. So we have the first one there, and let's just hit the standard for now. We could go in and do special settings there if we want to, but I don't think we will need to. So confirm and uh, assign the route to Mowgli. So that's the first one. I think I will use uh, Black Pearl because we know that there are more cities up here. So we also have plenty of cities here, but I think Let's let's take the black pearl and just head up and pause and we will head up and take a look and maybe we can trade with a couple of other nations. Uh, let's speed it up a little bit. So Turks Island, it should be Crooked Island and then we have something over here as well. And and Andros, Andrua. Let's see, we had Florida Keys should be there, and then we head up here and Saint Augustine. Okay, let's head back to Port, uh, Port of Pons, and let's see if we can set up a second trade route. There you go. Support these towns with commodities. Larger towns are better protected, so help them grow and deliver what they need. Excellent! You explore the area and the people like you. That is worth a lot. Let us hope they still do when Spanish cannonballs are blowing up in their faces. <laughs> okay, let's start a second. Uh, I, I think we'll call this one West, and then we'll create a new route, and we'll call that East. And we'll start in Port of France, we'll go to Tortuga, Isabella, San Juan, and Santo Domingo, and then back. I think, let, let's just try it and see. There is a neat route or route that uh, I think will uh, be enough. Assign route to the Black Pearl. The most important thing about such a trade route is that it makes a profit. You cannot help anyone if you are broke, not bad at all. 
At least your skills as a merchant seem to have been assessed correctly by the Queen. Now that you have settled in, you should take more care of your town, Port-au-Prince. That means make an effort to make the town grow quickly. A shipyard would also be a good idea, so the place is prepared for future conflicts. So, yeah, we have plenty of commodities. And hopefully... Yeah, you're not selling all that much. But just let's take a look and see if they are profitable. The east one isn't profitable yet. The west one is. So let, let it take a couple of laps and see if uh, how it goes there. And we got new objectives. Uh, port of Pass, you have applied 300 workers, 10 residential buildings, and a construct a uh, shipyard. And the shipyard, we need 3,000 people. And what's the. Okay, it's 1,000 and it's going down. <coughs> and we need plenty of cash to grow this city. But we have a tavern, we have a chapel, and do we own anything? A vegetable farm? We could actually buy these and then, uh, what do you want for it? 156,000. Let's wait a little bit and then we will buy those, all of these six actually. Uh, or did we got, what did we say? Fruit and vegetables, three business of each, and two additional cotton farms. Okay, they want us to build that. So maybe we don't need to build it, maybe we can buy everything. But we need more money for that. So let's wait a little bit. We can build maybe a couple of residential buildings here. Um, what do they cost each? 41,000. So we'll build three. Then we build a tavern because they love taverns. And maybe a chapel. Do we have money for it? Yes, we have. So let's wait a little bit. Now they need wood and uh, building materials, wood bricks. So. Let's see if we can... No, that's a repair dock. So we have to go to Santo Domingo to buy a ship. Okay, it has three schooners. We could buy two of them. Can we fill the third one as well? Yes, we can. Let's buy all three. Let's go to... Yeah, we need to construct... Uh, sorry. Here we are, and move them into a convoy, Nautilus, and then we head up to Tortuga and buy building materials. What's this? Yeah, I will go and look for him. In Barbados. Okay, let's... First, we should buy... Do we have money for this? Yeah, let's... What's the cargo space? 600. Okay, let's build by 300. The price is good. 300 of that, and there we go. And then we're back, and then we should. Is it Barbados down here, right? Or there is Barbados, okay. So let's just sell. Uh, we got. So they can finish building. We will need much of that. So what can we bring with us? Yeah, there's fruit and there is veggies. We don't have all that much of it, but let's bring some so they will be happy and can produce more. And 86. There we go. And let's head down to Barbados and see if we can find uh, Edgar Lewis. They have fruit. 
do we want? Uh, that is vegetables. Let's head to Granada, sell off the fruit, and then we sell off the rest at Barbados. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should change. Uh, let's sell that. Well, you have plenty. Let's buy. Let's grab some beer with us. And cocoa, I think you had, but take some pastries and head to Barbados and see if we can find the poor man. Let's sell everything. There we go. And let's take a trip around here and see if we can find him. There he is. Let's. Found Edgar Lewis. Your convoy find, finds Edgar Lewis safe and sound on the coast, but his vessel is no longer seaworthy. Can you help me get my vessel afloat again? I will then return to Baracoa and leave the vessel to you, because this old dub had already caused me enough trouble. A few sailors from the crew will help with the makeshift repair of the vessel. Then Edgar Lewis will set off for home. Okay. So you have logs. Let's bring some logs with us. 40, let's 300 there. Do we have anything else that is, yeah, this one, 129, there we go. And furniture, 351. Yeah, let's bring some some uh, sailors as well, and we head back to Port-au-Prince. Okay, we can build our a vessel for fifty percent, but we don't really don't need another vessel now. I think I will remove the Black Pearl from the Eastern Trade Route and add it and add this one. Uh, Are you already in? No, less is here. Okay. So let's get rid of everything we bought. And hopefully, people will be happy and the sailors. And let's see how this looks. 1017. Yeah, okay. They're getting some commodities. We have some people there. So, what is. This is a vegetable farm. Let's purchase off here 145,000 and then hopefully we will have some workers. We have 80 workers and then we need to take a look. How is, okay, 6,000 for the Western, 860 for the Eastern. So. Yeah, Nautilus is there. What's this? Merchant, okay. But I'm thinking the eastern route, we will, yeah, I will assign that route to Port of France and then we will remove the black pearl like that. And uh, can I remove it completely there? Get it out, duplicate, delete, release assignment. There we go. So we have the black pearl and we will send it home. Okay, Tortuga. Well, we don't have any bases in the. anything close, right? Let's see what you have that we can sell. Okay, I have plenty of everything. Let's, let's just sell it off. We uh, well, maybe we will probably sell and deliver some stuff. So let's bring up to fifty. Is our whole okay? We have plenty of stuff. So let's just trade everything or sell everything. 
Then we buy stuff that the city doesn't have, so that we grow. So they want luxury items, cer ceramics, they want clothing, they want metal and rum, yeah, and grain. So I thought I saw, was it up here, Trinidad? No, Santiago, got some stuff, Port Royal. And yeah, we can sell what we brought with us here. And then we will, did you want sugar? I don't remember. Let's get 50, oh, that's quite, yeah, let's get 50 sugar and some rum. They wanted metal. Yeah, let's buy everything. They probably want some of this, so let's buy 50. And then they want some pastries, it's always nice. They want the statues, but we don't have that, so... You have furniture. Yeah, I think we need to get... Uh, somewhere else but we can we can sell the sugar they wanted some of that so let's bring that meat is probably always welcome they want some clothing so let's okay let's buy everything there yeah, and some furniture and let's bring some sailors as well. Yeah, you want that. I don't think we have... Okay, they crooked island. We need to trade with them. Uh, but we need a permit for that. And that costs some money. But let's sell what we have. Hopefully they will get happy. And let's see how the city is doing. Okay, 1030. It's going up a little bit. And how... Yeah, we have that. English counter offensive fails. After the Spanish Armada was crushed last year, the English Armada led by Sir Francis Drake and Sir John Norris is now preparing to retaliate. The objective is to destroy supervising, surviving Spanish ships, support Portuguese rebels and capture the Azores. The expedition ends with heavy losses on the English side after a series of defeats without being able to achieve the set goals. Okay. So that was tobacco. This is orchard. Yeah, I'll, let's buy this. Congratulations, the building is yours. And this one is one of the cool. Okay, we have 160 of that, but they also want us to build fruit and vegetables and cotton. So I don't know, we can't afford that. So let's wait a little bit and see how the routes are doing. The West is doing really well. The east, not so much. So I'm thinking, should we ex Maybe we should... Get these guys involved. Trading license for 15. And trade license for uh, 15 as well. And then we can get to the eastern route. And edit some. And then we can add... Uh, Crooked Island and Turks, and we move them up to, yeah, let's go to Tortuga, up, and, and then down to Isabella. I think that's fine, and then we need to set these guys as standard, and confirm. 
And then we can, since we have the trading license, we can take the black pearl to collect some statues. And probably some Roman clothing as well. Yeah, 361. Okay, I got only five. Well, it's, I guess it's better than nothing, but... Oh, that was really expensive. Okay, you have some of this. So let's bring that. Some clothing. Yeah, we don't need logs. Let's head over to Turks and see if we can buy something more and then dump everything at our little city. Yeah, let's take some. I don't think we need all that much, but we want rum. And meat. Yeah, let's grab some cloth and then you have this. Yeah, let's grab... Okay, the cargo is full. Alliance with Henry of Navarre. After the assassination of Henry of Guise, the Catholic League is open rebellion against Henry III of France. Forced by circumstances, the king forges an alliance with brother-in-law Henry of Navarre, who also is leader of Huguenots and the next in line of succession to the throne. Together they set out to besiege Paris. Okay. Yeah, two... It's a little bit of a thousand, but it's nothing has really happened there. So hopefully they will be happy when they get some more commodities. Okay, now the and um, these sailors. So we actually filled the town. So now they have all the commodities they need. But I guess it's uh, they need job opportunities, so let's build veggie farms. And uh, this one, so yeah, it's already there. So I will build. They're meant to build three, right? But I can only afford. Yeah, I can build all three. And now we have five. And they four together will produce more, that's good. But then we are lack of materials. So we need bricks. And I know that there are bricks in Tortuga. So let's head up there. Let's just see what they want. They want the vases, so the ceramics. ceramics. Uh, logs, let's bring in a bunch and yeah, the rest of that. Let's go. We're gonna build some more, so, per, so let's go up and get some more bricks. Meat is good, so they can eat and grow. Nice, and then we just have to wait, I guess. Yeah, eight days. And what else do we need? Yeah, it's more residential buildings. So we need we need cash. That's the only thing. So maybe I will just have it to run a bit. Uh, let's see if we have any progress. West is doing a little worse. Okay, East is up and doing really well. And there is a plague rampant. I wonder, do we have any... We don't have any hospital here. I think, no? So, uh... 
Yeah, if the flag hits, we need that. And yeah, we have some more. Let's build a couple of more houses. Do we need a No, we had a cut three. No, we built one there. We have one. Yeah, I think I will build this. We need a couple of these guys. We can also build a small church. Can we up? Okay, we'll build a small church here. But we don't. I can't afford it. So let's just let it go. Okay, guys, it's time to make a cut in the video here. So I will let this run for a while. Hopefully, we will get the cash up so we can continue to uh, expand Port-au-Prince. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.